Good morning. Welcome to Manifest Morning. Of course, you already know. I'm Brian Hippolyte. It's a beautiful Monday morning. Um, I am yeah, enjoying watching the sunrise. Um, it's a very beautiful sight behind me. Um, but this day, I just wanted to take some time to uh, to impart to you some um, some empowerment. There's a lot of confusion right now. There's a lot of things going on that, um, you know, makes your situation seem uncertain. But I think this is where your faith is supposed to come in. I think this is where your preparation is is supposed to come in. I think this is where a lot of you, a lot of us, are being the opportunity to show ourselves in the universe just how miraculously powerful we are. Um, it's in, in times of uncertainty you're supposed to lead with what you know best you know you're supposed to lead with your truth so whatever that means I mean this is a time of self identification if nothing else good morning great day grand rising it's definitely a time of uh where your identity is either going to be revealed or is going to begin to thrive. Um, I mean, you are reaching a time. We as a society, I shouldn't say, I don't know why I'd be saying you. Uh, we as a society, you know, we're at, a, we're at a moment in history where, you know, life as we know it, believe it or not, may be about to change and it may never go back to that. You know, to the life that the way that we used to live life is absolutely quite possible that maybe, you know, maybe that doesn't happen. But it definitely appears. <coughs> At least y'all seen me <coughs> drink the water. <coughs> and no, that was <coughs> just from the water. Um, we definitely at a, at a time where our situation may be about to change. And those who are going to, <coughs> excuse me, those who are going to be thriving are those who have uh, identified themselves and identified their purpose and begin to uh, begin to walk in it. Um, and just as the sun is rising behind me, you know, I think a lot of us are beginning to uh, tap in and unlock the divine parts of ourselves that are going to begin to uh, rise and elevate, you know, through your being and permeate out of your being, you know. And so the greatness that's within you is going to start coming out of you, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I hope you're ready for it. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it good. Yeah. Yeah. I know you can barely see me, but I'm trying to get a good view. Um, yeah. Grand Rising. So, you know what the deal is, though. We're gonna start. We're we gonna get some. We're gonna get some good affirmations in. You know, this is a time of, um, I guess, gratitude. So, like, think of the things that you that that you're grateful for. And the things you should be grateful for. Allow those things to be your uh, your motivation in times of uncertainty. They say if a, a soldier um, doesn't fight because he hates what's in front of him, rather because he loves what's behind him. So you should be able to look at look at the lives around you and the people that you care about. And the people that care about you and always use that as motivation. Um, draw from that strength, the strength of the faith that they have in you. Um, and, you know, just pure love. And use that as your motivation, your strength to get through some things. Um, or get your mind where it needs to be. Or, you know, overcome that next obstacle. Whatever the case is. Good morning, Grand Rising, Grand Elevation. Top of the top to you. Thank you so much for joining me. It's beautiful. 
It's sunrise. So I figure I just I share it with y'all. Let me pull over. Let me pull over. Let me pull out the book. Yo, the ebook's coming out. Um, I don't know. I might just, it might come out today. I got a um I seen the the proof of it. Last night I'm actually gonna post it after the live. Um, but post or at least post a post a little video I made of it, but the ebook, the manifesting you ebook. Um that I mean it'll definitely be available tomorrow. I'm like, I'll probably I thought I had some time today and see how the day go. Um, I won't be able to pay attention to it. That's what I'm saying, like I don't know when. Um, but I do know that it's ready to go, so ain't no reason I have to sit on it. So I'm going over to page 18 in the Manifesting You book so we can get these affirmations started. Yeah. All right, now. If you got your book, feel free to read along, sing along if you don't. You know, um, you could choose to repeat it. I would suggest you repeat it. Um, but you can also, you know, just receive it as if it's uh, these were knowing that these words were were hand stitched together for you for right now. You know, um, your mind and your heart and your soul have to accept things and, and change. And the way that we change it is by changing our thoughts. And if we can change our thoughts, then we can change our habits. We can change our actions. We can do that. We can change our lives. If we can do that, we can change our lives. If we, you know, it keeps going. So, um, I challenge you to receive these blessings. You dig it? I am letting go of every part of me that is not contributing to my elevation. I am moving forward with dignity, grace, and patience. I am welcoming this new chapter with the highest level of gratitude and humility. My spirit rises to match the new and magical beginnings that await me. Low vibrating energies can't reach me at this height. My vision is locked and focused on the multiple blessings that are coming my way. I am blessed. I am grateful. I am powerful. I am more than enough. I am capable. I am beautiful. I am loved. I give love. I give freely. I am blessed because I bless. My children are blessed. My children have peace. My family is blessed. My end, my finances are increasing. My ability to communicate with those who I love are increasing. My ability to get wealth is increasing. And my ability to handle the challenges that come my way are increasing. I have knowledge to make good decisions for myself. I have all that I need to make today a great day. I am all that I need to make today a great day. I acknowledge my own self-worth and my self-confidence is rising. It doesn't matter who doesn't like me. I love me. I let go of any negative feelings about myself. I accept all that is good. I will always attract the best circumstances and I have the best and positive people around me. I am courageous and today I am prepared to face my fears. I have an unlimited power. I have an untapped potential and today I am rising to meet it. Every day I discover new and interesting parts of me.
And every day I am willing to let go any part of me that no longer suits me. As I continue to evolve and elevate, I will make mistakes, but I will learn from them. And I will attract those who will complement my journey and my path, those who will elevate me, those who will add value to me. Yeah. Absolutely. Because this universe is filled with endless opportunities. So, there's abundance everywhere. Um, I was talking to to somebody yesterday, and we got into a... Uh, <laughs> Y'all know. Come on, Mama. Yes, baby. Come on, come lay down. It's on. It's early morning. It's not even morning morning yet. Come on, let's go lay down. No, it's it's not nighttime, but it's not morning morning yet. It's still early morning. Okay. See, I still see. I'm gonna come get you when it's morning, morning. Here's your cat. This is not gonna work, I know that now. I just wanted to try it. <laughs> Give me a minute. What you crying for? See the sun? Yeah. This is rising. The sun's coming up. Say I'm smart. <laughs> I'm intelligent. <laughs> no, say it. Use your words. I can't I'm intelligent. I'm happy. Happy. I am loved. I give love. I receive love. I receive love. I am powerful. I am powerful. I am capable. I can't I am more than enough. More than enough. I am a queen. Queen. <laughs> so I am still tired. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a great day, it's a powerful day, I appreciate all y'all joining me, coming through and getting these affirmations, uh, let me grab the book so we can get a key from the book. Let's get to the key. Uh, what was I saying about? 
Oh, yes, yeah, so I was just having this conversation yesterday with somebody, and they brought up a really good point uh, about how this quarantine, you know, for a lot of people, for a good demographic of people, for a lot of our people specifically, um, I guess we, you know, we, a lot of us come from not having a lot. I guess that's the, the best way to say that. Um, so... Some of us have grown up in circumstances and situations and environments where, you know, scarcity was really what what we were used to, right? Um, so, you know, and then there's other people. Well, well, I, I, and, in, and in a sense, most Americans, I guess, um, you know, that live paycheck, paycheck to paycheck, um, you know, they're used to stretching things out, making it last, Um to, you know, to get from, you know, one point to another. So, so a lot of us are used to that. Um, and I think that's a fair statement uh, without, you know, misrepresenting or offending anybody. Um, I mean, because even, I mean, even when y'all buy weed, y'all make it, y'all stretch it out to make it last as long as you can. Like, you understand the principle I'm saying, right? Um, so the point is, if you are um, existing in the mindset of lack or of scarcity, um, then you couldn't be existing with the mindset or the uh, or the or the habits of abundance and operating in abundance because you're you know you're used to operating in lack. And I was like, hmm, that made a whole lot of sense. Like, because then you also can't be attracting abundance. No, you can't be, have, you can't, you can't, you don't have the mindset of both. And both, lack does have a mindset that comes along with it. You know, it has a mentality that comes along with it. So, <clears throat> if you been in that, you know, and that's, that's why so they say you can get, you can get money and lose it because you don't have the mindset to handle that type. I could, listen, I've done it more than once. <laughs> I'm on one and then I had a mindset to handle and then, you know, use it appropriately. Um, good morning, Grand Rising. Good to see you, Rose. Um, you know, so I think the point the point was uh, that you can change your mindset, you know, and go and and start thinking and operating in the ways of abundance in a way that, you know, the mindset of abundance, and then and then also attract that to you because you're not gonna do both. You're not gonna attract. Or you're not going to hold the mindset of lack or the type of mindset that you would, or, you know, and habits that you would have in lack if you were thinking of a, and operating in abundance and had the mindset of abundance, you know what I'm saying? So it's just a mindset shift that has to take place. Um, and it's actually sparked so much thought that I think I'm going to write on it and, I don't know, go give you something on, on tips or steps to, you know, from one, from one to the other and to further break it down because it does seem like a, a really imperative thing um, and, and, may, and it may have absolute sense, you know, um, to get your, get your mind out of the way that we operate, you know, when in lack. So, yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. Let me get this key and we can get it. Yes, 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 my love. You want cereal? I know you do. I want to enjoy the sunrise, though. I need, I need, I need to let that happen. Um. Okay. So this would be, we'll start the week with the key on, um, self-assessment so this is key number 35 page 44 in the manifesting book <clears throat> you know 
Which is still on sale, by the way, so take fed to that. They're only $19 right now. Um, and that includes free shipping. And also includes the uh, free mini series that goes along with the book. There's a uh, full course that goes along with the book right now that a lot of people have been taking advantage of because that's seventy five percent off as well. Um, so you definitely um, click the link. Bio. As a matter of fact, I'll put it on. Um, here, let me put the link in right now. I forgot to do that because this course is so dope and. I think it's going to make a lot of things make sense to you that people just don't got the opportunity to, you know, but a lot of us weren't raised. A lot of us just weren't given simple game on, on things that I think, you know, we should know. And then we, we grow up adults un, unaware of how to deal with our traumas, unaware of how to... Um, utilize life in a proper way to where it's, you know, beneficial for us. <laughs> and I've seen so many people stuck in different patterns and different, um, you know, mindsets and mind frames that just keep them in the same situation when you have so much potential in you to do so many other great things. So, you know, someone asked me the other day, well, why, you know, what I, why do I need to manifest me? And I'm like, well, why, well, why not? Why, sh why shouldn't you is the better question. Why shouldn't you? be tapping into the divine thing that resides in you that's waiting to be, you know, released. Why just, why not be open to the possibility that maybe you are even far greater than you've ever imagined or that anyone's led you to believe? What's wrong with that? Why be cool with this scarcity? Why, you know, why, why not tap into your divinity? So, if you purchased the book, thank you, bless you. Um, I know it's going to bless you. And if you put these keys um, to practice, it's going to completely change the landscape of your life. And, um, and that's exciting. I got some books uh, purchased over the weekend that's, that uh, were purchased for inmates in some correctional facilities. And, man, I didn't... I'm just, I guess I, I, I just never thought of my book going into a, a prison, you know, like just didn't have that foresight of, you know, the scenario until it was actually in front of me. And I'm still kind of, I'm, I'm just, I'm humbled and amazed by it. And I know it's power. You know, and I'm, I've been, in, uh, I've never been to prison. I've been in a couple of county jails. <laughs> and um, those books never really, um, they never really look like they focusing on you. They're just stories and stuff like that. Um, so, to see uh, I just thinking in terms of an inmate is to just to see a book that said manifesting you you know I I just hope it'll reach the more than one person and I and I really think I'm gonna have to put something in place just to kind of get it to more inmates um yeah I think we're gonna um we're gonna do it I'm gonna I'm gonna do something in like on the cart when you check out that if it's for the inmate, you know, like lower the price or something. I don't know. I got, I'm gonna figure. I'm gonna figure it out. But like now, it's something that I want to do. Um, I don't know how it work. I don't know. Let me go figure it out. Those now is now because now it's it's it's, it's in my heart um, to do. So um, yeah. I also I got some some international orders over the weekend. I got an order in um, Sydney, Australia, which is like the I think the third order um, from Sydney. So whoever's in Sydney or in books, what's up? <laughs> Appreciate you. Um, and then there was some other place that I didn't. I had never. I had literally had to look it up. It was started with it's not Bosnia. It was something that from kind of. It, Something, something weird, something weird, but that's what's up. Um, I'm gonna find out who I, I'm gonna have to hit them up because they're gonna have to pay for that ship and the handle, and I ain't doing it. Um, <clears throat> so free ship and the handling comes for domestic orders. Um, 
That's the disclaimer. I'm growing. I'm growing. Um, so I'm sharing these things with you because none of these problems existed in my life. You know, like a month ago, two months ago, you know, I was I had the problem dealing with other, you know, some other greatness. But still, you know, I decided in November of last year, towards the end of November of last year, that I wasn't going to let the end, the year end without accomplishing one of my major goals. And my major goal was to get this book out. Um, so I stopped everything, every, every part of my life, and took off to the mountains in Colorado. And what the mountains? The, the mountains. Uh-huh. uh-huh. And... And wrote and finished wrote you know put this book together. I said all oh, last year if I could just take two weeks and just focus on this book, I'd get it done. And you know December of 2019 came and I was like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Everything's on pause. And I went off and isolated myself and spent two weeks on it and got it done. You know, I was trying to get a goal accomplished. I wasn't thinking about all these little pieces of greatness that come along, you know, come along the way with it and the moments that, um, you know, touch my heart along the way with it. So I'm, when I tell y'all I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for each and every one of y'all, um, especially knowing that you're the ones that's telling people about this book um, and encouraging people to go on. Um, I barely even pay attention to my Amazon sales because I don't get a lot off of it. <laughs> Um, but apparently a lot of people have been buying it on Amazon as well. I even upped the price on Amazon. It's like my book's like $36 on Amazon. I do that to generate the traffic to my site where I get all my money, right? That makes sense, right? They still buying it. <laughs> so I got an email the other day about something that had to do with the payment that would, that they were sending and which caused me to log into and like see it was like whoa
They still buying this book at $36 on Amazon. All right, so we're gonna start. You know, it's happening. It's it's cool, but I'm gonna drop the ebook tomorrow. Cause I kind of I don't know. I don't know. Today just already already felt. What y'all think? You think I should drop it today? I think it only takes a few hours if like. Well, I was waking up. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. No, she's still asleep. Um, I think. I don't know. It only takes a few hours, like, once I hit go on my end for it to be posted and available on Amazon. And then I'm going to figure out how to get that in the audio book, on, you know, somewhere. just on my site. So I ain't got to do it with them. Uh, but I'm going to be a best-selling author in no time. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. And nothing's wasted. There's so many tricks to and marketing and different things that I've learned over the years. Um paying dues and sowing seeds in other people's businesses and ministries and, and, and their careers, and, you know, stuff like that, that put me in positions to learn things that now I turn around and effortlessly use for my own benefit because I'm in a position to do it. Like, nothing is wasted. All them seeds you sown, all those people that you helped that was never grateful to you or that might have even been horrible to you, shit ain't wasted. Those... Those seeds is going to bring, but that, you know, that harvest wasn't destroyed. It was just delayed for a different part of your life. Ain't nothing wasted. That's where the beauty of it all come. That's where it come back. I'm trying to tell you that goodness that's in you, those seeds that you sow. Some of y'all, some of your seeds are so, so potent that you sowed them in bad soil and you still going to give a, get a harvest off that. Why would we get up? You hear me? You sow some, sow some good seeds in bad soil and you still going to get a harvest off it. So don't you, don't you look at at any season of your life, at any time in your life, it's something that, you know, wasn't good for you. It might not have, some of it might not have felt good for you. Some of it, some of it may still be painful now. But hey, that pain is a, is a purifying agent. It's like fire. You know, it's going to rip through anything not not meant to stand in this way. But in that, in that fire, pain changes people. And that pain just may be in place to change you into and motivate you into a, 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 another version of yourself. And that pain may be in place so that you have a soft spot for another individual or another demographic of people so that you go out and do something to help them. You know, there's a purpose for your pain. And at any time you can actually put your pain inside your purpose, like I did with this book, you do what this book is doing and you start to heal people. That's what happens. So I challenge you from one human being to another just to Find whatever way you got to put your, put your pain inside your purpose. And some magical thing's going to happen that's going to affect humanity beyond what you was thinking. You hear me? Yes, baby. You want some cereal? Let's get some cereal. You gotta believe me. Those, those seeds is gonna. 2019 came and I was like, "Yo, I'm done. I'm, <laughs> everything's on pause." And I went off and isolated myself and spent two weeks on it and got it done. You know, 
I was trying to get a goal accomplished. I wasn't thinking about all these little pieces of greatness that come along, you know, come along the way with it and the moments that, um, you know, touch my heart along the way with it. So um, when I tell y'all I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for each and every one of y'all, um, especially knowing that you're the ones that's telling people about this book um, and encouraging people to go on. Um, I barely even pay attention to my Amazon sales because I don't get a lot off of it. <laughs> Um, but apparently a lot of people have been buying it on Amazon as well. I even upped the price on Amazon. It's like my book's like $36 on Amazon. I do that to generate the traffic to my site where I get all my money, right? That makes sense, right? They still buying it. <laughs> it's, uh, I got an email the other day about something that had to do with the payment that would, that they were sending and which caused me to log into and like see it was like whoa <laughs> they still buying this book at $36 on Amazon alright so I'm gonna start you know it's happening it's it's cool but I'm gonna drop the ebook tomorrow cause I kinda I don't know I don't know. Today just already, already felt it. What y'all think? You think I should drop it today? I think it only takes a few hours. If, like, while I was waking up. While I was waking up? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. No, she's still asleep. Um, I think... I don't know. It only takes a few hours. Like Once I hit go on mine for it to be posted and available on Amazon. And then I'm going to figure out how to... Get that in the audio book on, you know, just on my site. So I ain't gotta do it with them. Uh, but I'm gonna be a best-selling author in no time. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, and nothing's wasted. There's so many tricks to and marketing. There's different things that I've learned over the years. Um, paying dues and sowing seeds in other people's businesses and ministries and, and, and their careers, and, you know, stuff like that, that put me in positions to learn things that now I turn around and effortlessly use for my own benefit because I'm in a position to do it. Like, nothing is wasted. All them seeds you sown, all those people that you helped that was never grateful to you or that might have even been horrible to you, shit ain't wasted. Those... Those seeds is going to bring, but that, you know, that harvest wasn't destroyed. It was just delayed for a different part of your life. Ain't nothing wasted. That's where the beauty of it all come. That's where it come back. I'm trying to tell you that goodness that's in you, those seeds that you sow. Some of y'all, some of your seeds are so, so potent that you sowed them in bad soil and you still going to get a harvest off that. Why don't we get up? You hear me? You sow some, sow some good seeds in bad soil and you still going to get a harvest off it. So don't you, don't you look at at any season of your life, at any time of your life, as something that, you know, wasn't good for you. It might not have, some of it might not have felt good for you. Some of it, some of it may still be painful now. But hey, that pain is a, is a purifying agent. It's like fire. You know, it's going to rip through anything not not meant to stand in this way. But in that, in that fire, pain changes people. And that pain just may be in place to change you into and motivate you into a, 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 a another version of yourself. And that pain may be in place so that you have a soft spot for another individual or another demographic of people so that you go out and do something to help them. You know, there's a purpose for your pain. And at any time you can actually put your pain inside your purpose, like I did with this book, 
you do what this book is doing and you start to heal people. That's what happens. So I challenge you from one human being to another just to find whatever way you got to put your, put your pain inside your purpose. And some magical things going to happen that's going to affect humanity beyond what you was thinking. You hear me? Yes, baby. You want some cereal? Let's get some cereal. You got to believe me. You got to believe me. This is beautiful. Thank you. You know, all right. And um, I don't know where you come from. I don't know what you're supposed to. I grew up in a uh, in a Christian church environment, right? You ask for chocolate milk every morning. It never happens. I don't want but I appreciate your persistence. <laughs> you don't. We don't ever. Have We need to get you out of that. I feel you. I feel you, but miracles have that what happened in your life. You know? It is crazy. It's not crazy. Uh, it's not crazy. Um, yeah, absolutely. And I think that sparks. I don't know how old she is, but she's been here a couple times. We're gonna watch the sunrise. <sighs> Treating yourself well. They, you know, through your. My book's like thirty six dollars on. Don't you look at at any. <laughs> A lot of us, I have, I guess, um, removed themselves from, you know, from religion. I've seen many of us not know how to, how to handle it, how to coexist with it. This is a big segue from where I was just at. But that was a bunch of things I experienced yesterday that I just wanted to share with y'all, and I would have in the moment if I could, because they were just beautiful things. Uh, but so... I'm going to tie it all together, though. <laughs> um, so I was having to deal with, you know, some elders in my, you know, in my family. And, of course, they still devout, you know, Christians and hymnals and praying. Like, I mean, if one of them start humming, the other two's going to harmonize. I mean, good, uh, <laughs> good country Christian. Um, 
And then we had a beautiful, you know, we, we had a meal, we ate, we talked, um, and we talked about scripture. And it was, but there was still so many things. I think this is exactly what I want to say. There was still, there's still so many things that um, when you sit down with your family, if y'all quarantine, um, and if you're in a situation like me where all of a sudden social distancing means that you got more people around you than you do in your normal life, um, <laughs> We got the opportunity to enjoy um, the language of life, regardless of what we were relating it to. So even if it was a a biblical story, um, which there are still true stories, um, or whether you want to see, or or true allegories, rather. That's what I meant to say. True allegories. So there's truth in them. And there's things about us as a people that, you know, is still true there's still morality in these you know in these stories so it's not like you can't sit down with your family and talk about these things even if you don't have the same religious beliefs they're allegories of life right so um that's a growth that i came to in my journey um but particularly we was referring to this uh there was a reference to this scripture greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world it's a pretty general one um So the one what I what I offered in our conversation was about turning, you know, how we're used to attaching the he in that to uh, a Christ or a savior Um, um, in a previous time or maybe just in my mind. What happens if we attach that he we say that same as that statement, but we attach that he to our inner being, our inner being. You know, that he or she, whatever, how you want to do it. So great, but say that same as that statement. But greater is he who is in me, he, me, my inner self, than he who is in the world. Because, you know, same thing. We're in the world, but we're not of it. I'm not of this world, clearly. But when I didn't know myself, I didn't know that, and I acted of this world. We'll talk about that a whole other time. But what if you turn around and you use your faith and understanding of who you are and say, greater is the person inside me than anything in this world. And you know that you could, that you are greater than what you're facing. And I mean this uncertainty that we all dealing with right now. This uncertainty yes. doesn't matter because you're certain in what you are, who you are, what you believe in, and what you have. He is the Holy Spirit, which allows us to create. Would you be willing? So the Holy Spirit, when you say the Holy Spirit, would that not be the spirit that that you would be connected to? Like that would be with, you know, in, in, in internally, like your spirit man. That is inside you, the one. Hold on, baby, one second. The one that speaks, you know, from within you. That would be your spirit, man. So that man would be the part of you, if you are mind, so mind, body, and soul, mind, body, and spirit. However you want to break it down, the part of you, your spirit, that would be the one that would be connected to that holy or divine spirit, right? So that's the one, that's the part of us that I'm referencing. Um, um, But in taking, um, in taking that sentence, and and in no disrespectful way to anyone's, you know, belief of what the he is allocated, so should be, you know, allocated to. um, But in a matter of self-belief, which by no... um, Man, I, if you believe in something that tells you you shouldn't believe in yourself, then listen, <laughs> we need to get you out of that because there is no reason uh, that, like, like the sister just said, uh, that you should, that should not be accepting your higher self and just calling for something higher. And I've seen a lot of people do that across the board in, in, in every Religion, you know that, that that you got to, and I've seen people, you know, who've not. Um, but any anything that would 
challenge you to accept a higher divinity, but not speak to the higher self and you and tell you to not reach for your higher self and accept your higher self. Um, would probably had to be some type of um, slavery, you know, and something that we would probably call an occult or something like that because it's lower. It's telling you to not think for yourself. So anything that's in like that, that's not, I don't, I don't see how that's going to be beneficial for you because you were sitting here with your own divine spirit. So if you're not, if you yield in that to some other man-made concept, that's crazy. For sure. You know, and that, and, and like you said, not know, they don't know themselves. And that's the that's the problem. That's the detrimental difference that we that people are facing. When you know yourself, you know who you are. That means you know who you are not. That means you know what you are not. You know, I can I be listen. Like I said, I was born. I was I was raised in in churches. I even I went to I got a uh, <laughs> I put degree in biblical studies. I, Cause you funny, because I don't know what else to do when I see what the sun. The sun came back. When you came back, the clouds came out the way, huh? That's what always happened, baby. The clouds going, the clouds going to move out the way, and the sun going to shine again. You know, none of this is permanent. And once you become at peace with that, you appreciate it. You appreciate that sun when it comes through, because you know them clouds is gonna come back at some point. You know that you know that you know that sunshine, them sun rays ain't gonna feel the same at some point. I seen someone post yesterday, <laughs> like they went outside. Um, they went outside and, and the sun felt different because it was illegal, and that's so funny. <laughs> like. Yeah. What goes up is Yeah, 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 yeah. That's real. This thing, yeah, I feel you. I feel you, but it's such is it it uh does does um give a lot of um great stories and out and allegories to learn from. Uh, but to go along the way, I just say I keep it up here so I can see the sunrise. I don't know where you at or what you're doing, but you should you deserve to see a sunrise. Um, Alright, so there's another story um, This kingdom was captured The king, this kingdom was captured um, And the tribe of Judah specifically um, were, um, were besieged and were taken, right? So this led a group of people all being captured And the king that captured them said Hey man, take all the take all the young men, bring them to my palace, let them eat my food, let them you know drink my wine. I'm going to train them. I'm gonna make them work for me. Make them my you know I'm paraphrasing this whole story. Um, I'm gonna make them work for me. Um, and there was one of them named Daniel who knew who he was. Like who he knew they was just in a temporary situation and he they was gonna get out of it. He knew who he was. So he's like, nah, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go to the king's palace with y'all and eat his food and drink his wine. Cause the moment I, I start to taste that stuff, I'm gonna want that stuff. And that's not for me. That's just not who I am. I'm not judging you if that's what you want, but I know who I am and I know where I come from. And we don't do that over there. So it looked good. Sure, it looked good, it looked fun, but I know who I am and that's not of my creed. And this temporary situation is not going to make me stop being who I know I am just to get down or benefit in this temporary situation because it's temporary and the clouds is going to move out the way and the sun going to start shining again. And I'm not going to sacrifice my integrity or become something I'm not just for this temporary gratification.
Self-identification is that important. Because when you know who you are, you know what you're not supposed to do. When you know who you are, you know who your enemies are. I don't talk. Who don't talk? Um, the sun. The sun don't talk? Mm-hmm. Yes, it do. You just ain't been listening. <laughs> I think once we have the power to be given it to us and learn how to uh, own and understand it, that's when miracles begin to happen in our life. You're absolutely correct. You know, absolutely. That's one of the miracles that have that ever happened in your life. You know, uh, yeah, ab- absolutely. And I think that sparks the ability to generate <laughs> miracles on a whole another level. At least that's how I'm experiencing it. You know, I've been a writer my whole life. I've been an award-winning. I won my. I've been an award-winning published writer since the age of eight. Right. Um, I've always known that the way that I write and what I write is what resonates with people, whether it was that I was reading a poem, a story, a, a, or, or rapping. Um, but I never expected that it would be me writing down 111 things that changed my life that would... I mean, it makes sense when I'm saying it, you know, that it would be the things that change other people's lives. But, you know, there are so many other things that I pour time and energy, you know, and love into, you know, thinking this is what is, you know, is going to do this marvelous thing. Um, and it was really the selfless, the most selfless thing, not the most creative, but the most selfless thing. Understanding that there's so many who don't know what you just had to go through so much to learn, so much pain and so much suffering um, to learn. Like, I had to be my worst enemy. And um, throughout life, like, and not even know it. And there's so many of us who are like that and don't even know it, <laughs> you know, that we are the biggest problem that we have, that we're standing in the way of our success. We're standing in the way of us being great because we, you know, some of us have taken on, taken on um, habits and characteristics and mindsets of things that are just kind of productive to our best being. Um, and some of them are trauma-based, some of them are environment-based, some of them are, you know, things that you were never taught, so you could have never known better. Um, but there's still a way to find and unlock your greatness. And so that's what these 111 keys do. Um, and I love it every day. Like, it's more, it just, this just looks more powerful every day to me. And I'm like, yeah, I got my name at the bottom of it. <laughs> Yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy. Um, so I appreciate y'all. Um, it is crazy. It's not crazy. All right, it's not crazy, then, baby. She knows best. I don't know how old she is, but she's been here a couple times. I've had her for two years, but I don't know. Really? Yeah, I'm talking about you. Um, yeah, so the ebook's coming, um, the course is dope, I think I'm gonna, you know, I, it's so much going on right now, but, um, the next thing I gotta get done is the audio book, which won't take long, I just have to finish someone else's audio book first, because I promised them that I would, <laughs> and... I can't put mine out for it. <laughs> it's like, that's just, you know, that wouldn't be of integrity. So, um, their book's just big. <laughs> I could probably knock out my audio book in like, in like, a, you know, two days. This is probably a good 16 hour project, but it's going to get done um, next week, but definitely by next week. So, 
then I'll get the audio book out. But the e-book will be out, you know, either, either later or today. I'm going to see how long it takes for it to pop up on Amazon once I, uh, you know, press go on my end. Because, uh, you know, I like to do things strategically at certain times and stuff like that. So, you know, it's going to drop on the 111. We're going to drop on the one. We're going to stay on theme. That's my birthday, by the way, January 11th. Um, so this 111 thing runs through me. It's a part of me. Great morning. Great day. Grand ride. Um, you sleep well, princess? Okay. Give hugs and kisses. She's been waiting on you. Yeah, Father Son moments, great day. How you doing? Yeah, it's um. I'm going to run it through the comments. Run through the comments, I ain't. Yeah. I appreciate that. It's dang. I pre. I really do. I feel it. I felt that. I don't even know if y'all could tell. I'll tell y'all now, man. I was holding back tears earlier when I was talking about just the blessing that it is. Um, and then luckily my daughter needs something, to, needs something to eat, so I got to kind of walk away and shake it off. But when I tell you, it was, um, man, it's just, it's just been awesome to see the things that, um, yeah, you late, you senior. <laughs> I'm just playing. Great day, queen. Good to see you. Oh, man, y'all miss it. We're gonna watch the sunrise. We done, you know, we done talked about growth, prosperity, you know, unexpected blessings. We done talked about self identification. I ain't even got to a key in the book. I ain't even get to read a book. I know I pulled, I was, uh, I know I came up to one. Um, yeah, I, I did actually um, make you a bowl, but apparently she put both of y'all bowls together. So, give me a second. Oh, but she bought the one. She, you take care of it? Oh, By myself. By yourself? I got it. I did I know. And no one's contesting that you, whether you're a big girl or not. I know, Page 44. Look at you. Look at you. I'm going to hire you. I'm going I'm going I'm going to hire you, Kishan. She be on point. Look at you. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I, don't know, I, I wish I could do the little heart thing for you right now. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right, so page 44 in the book, <laughs> which is key 35. And it says an honest assessment is required for daily alignment. This practice keeps you on the correct course as the tides and waves of life push and pull you in various directions. This requires a. T this doesn't require a total unpacking, but you should keep in mind that we manage what we measure. Self management must and should be our first priority, because you are your most lucrative asset. As such, never allow yourself to be internally compromised for long. Honesty is the stairway to peace, and once obtained, if you are wise. Enough to protect your peace, your peace will guide and protect you in return. It's not until you are rooted in your truths that you can become ruthless in your demands. Flaws and all, be unashamed when you put your state of being on a scale and weigh where you are mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. After you take time for self-reflection and self-identification, you can now start the engine with the keys to acquire the knowledge of self and utilize the self-respect as the administration of a healthy dose of self-love. When you love yourself better, you will attract better. You will let yourself in the universe know that you deserve the best by treating yourself well. 
Everything starts with how you feel about yourself. So feel worthy, feel valuable, special, and deserving. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Man, I don't know. This Brian Hippolyte guy, he's... Let me read his bio. He sounds like a cool guy. Whoever wrote that. Yes, ma'am. Okay. We'll deal with it later. These kids are so little. Man. <laughs> They're hilarious. Um, yeah. What you say, Keyshawn? There's no space from within until you let the universe step in. I like that. I like that. And it's definitely a great day, Grand Rising, too. All y'all that entered the room. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a um It's been a powerful morning. I think we're gonna have to start it with the sunrise every morning. I just we